the cats of my kids. That's where power comes from. And India back into a war again to end the sixth round. He hit him with a body shot. I don't know if he can get up. He hit him straight on the chin. He got him with a chin. He's done. He's knocked out. Juan Manuel Marquez has done it. Straight right hand right on the button. Whoa. Straight right hand knocked him out cold. Manny coming in and he walks right into it. Marquez had his body half twisted and Manny get caught right on the chin. Boom, right there. Perfect position was Marquez to land that shot. Manny knocked out Cole. His eyes are shut right there. I saw a little punch with the left hand and I thought went to the body at the end, but it was already over. That's Eric Morales is a punishing puncher. Look at him work both the body and had good counter punching there by Chacon, but boy, he's gonna need to get out of that corner. Big left hand, and down goes Chacon right in front of us. I think this fight is over. Yes, it is. Here is Morales getting Chacon pinned in the corner. The right hand is what did it, the left hook, and now left as he was going down. And that was the punch that really, I think, did additional damage to Angel Chacon. He wasn't down yet, so it wasn't an illegal punch by Morales. He might have held up with that one, but as you're punching, it's very hard to do that. Kirkland left hand, missed with the right. Kirkland's legs stiffened a little bit from some of those shots. Like I said, he's always been susceptible in the opening round. Oh, he got down, and he goes down right on the chin. Just as you said it, he's been susceptible in the early going. He was hit right on the chin by Saul Canelo Alvarez, and down he went. Alvarez to the left of your screen, landing heavy power shots. Kirkland does, oh, the uppercut caught him, coming forward. Kirkland can get up, he's going to fight. He's always going to want to fight. He's never going to give up. But his legs are not there. This time, I don't think he's getting up. The doctor in there first. That was a right hand that finished him off. How about Canelo Alvarez? Wow! Here he is now as a southpaw. Now you see the body language from Valdez. Yeah. Uppercut combination, and he scores the knockdown. Valdez does it again. That was not the fight, you understand? See Oscar Valdez turning southpaw, feeling good. And you know a fighter's feeling good when they start throwing combinations you haven't seen all night. That was creative, that was thoughtful. He said, let me bring it up. I think he might have heard Timothy Bradley ask for the uppercut, and it landed, and it landed cleanly, and you saw the results. Okay. that it produced right there with okay. Burchell. Burchell is in a bad way right now. Valdez has been fighting the perfect fight all night. Knowing when to box, when to move. But this right here is saving grace. Left hook with the movement allowed Burchelt to come forward. Just beautiful work right here, man, by 
Valdez finding the home for it, saving grace, that left hook. I knew as soon as he hit someone, as soon as he hit Burchell, clearly, I knew it was going to be over. Watch the legs on impact. Getting out of range. Beautiful setup. Boom. Right on the chin. Every part of him crumbled Unreal. to the ring. He should, he should start throwing some feints, even when, he, when he's trying to, you know, regain his composure and, you know, set his next trap. Don't just stand there looking at him. Throw some feints and make, you, make him think about you're going to set up a trap. But do something. Oh, oh that shot hurt him. Colin is down in round five. And the towel comes in. Adam Bullock has thrown in the towel. It is over. Luis Alberto Lopez is still the IBF featherweight world champion. To Conlin. And just in a split second, everything changed. Just like that. Fell right into it. Get right into it. I question though why Nick Conlon decided to fight so much in the South Wall stance though. As a matter of fact, Chavez was twisting his head as the right hand caught him, but nonetheless it looked good. Oh, Pete a little bit stuck. Oh, he rocked. Yeah. Look at this. Chavez trying to finish him and drop him here. Peter was staggered and went backwards, and Chavez realized it, and he knows how to finish. And Peter's hurt. He got hit again with a solid shot. It's all Chavez. If he doesn't answer, Dickie will stop it. It's over. And he does. Peter couldn't answer it. Dickie Cole, my brother, Lawrence Cole, had to stop the fight. Dude, here we go. Here we see how he did it. There, so he, he, he noticed he rocked him there, and, he, and then he's all over Peter Manfredo. Look at all them shots. Manfredo was not answering. He was trying to make a miss on punches, but it just wasn't enough. And finally, look at him. He's staggering all over the wall. Oh, that was another solid right hand. And at the end, Dickie Cole, Lawrence Cole, should I say, said no more. I counted him. 41 straight wow. punches without Manfredo answering. And Lawrence Cole. Uh, Duplessis, a solid super lightweight. 36 and 1, 25 knockouts. His only loss was a controversial decision to Louis Lamelli, and now here comes Chavez. Down goes Duplessis. A body shot by Chavez that did not look that stinging. He tells Carlos Padilla he's all right. Now Chavez going for the finish, and he went right back to that rib with two shots. He saw the same thing we did. He tried to catch him, and he's coming in. And he's all right, let's look at that mysterious knockdown. I think it was the body shot that did it. Right here, boom, and down he goes. Yeah, that's what it was. But when it doesn't hurt him, it doesn't seem to bother the show. He doesn't even bother to counterpunch. He's just looking at the guy uh, with disinterest almost. So they don't bother each other. There's that tactic again of spinning Duplessis around and nailing him with an uppercut. Duplessis complains. Padilla having more to say than usual. It's interesting because Chavez doesn't understand what he's saying anyway. The other knockdown was as clean as the other knockdown. The right hand was right on on the money. You can see that Duplessis is caving in, a, 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 a almost diving through the through the ropes there. By no matter what he did, he's just out class. A, another example of an excellent fighter with a with a big record, Duplessis, not even being in the same league. Not even being. It had the thud, the sound of leather on leather. If you know what I mean. Uppercut, left hand, uppercut. Nice right. partnership between those two. Warren Boxing and Marco Antonio Barrera. He's got Benavides in the corner and working him over. Benavides fights back. Takes a solid shot to the jaw. There's the bell. I thought it was interesting yesterday talking to Benavides. And he, he said, I, even if the fans are hostile to me, I just hope they're loud. Oh, oh man. Got to the liver. Left hand to the liver. And Benavides in his own corner. Five, Count is at five, ten, six, seven. seven. He's not going to get up. Eight, nine. Benavides is down and out. A shot to the liver. Left hand thrown by Barrera. Out with a body. 
to the body by Marco Antonio Barrera, setting it up. Punch to the head first, and then the left hook to the body. A short, compact left hook to the body, and that was it for Benavides. It was a clean punch. You'll see, first of all, a left hook to the head, which will set it up, and then the left hand to the body. Watch the pain on the face yeah. of Benavides. Yeah, excruciating. I mean, he was moving away from it, and suddenly the whole thing just overcame him, and down he went. Watch that shot right there. Oh, oh. man. Well, I called it one punch. There really was the, the punch to the head, which opened it up for him. Double left left hand to the head, then the left to the body. Down goes Benavides. And you know, not on Oh, good right by Morales. And back to Mutt. Here's how it goes. He leads into a left and he goes down. The right up the front bay of Florida. All right, let's check out the knockdown. Walked into that left. And it was a body shot to send him to the camp. So it was not a right uppercut to the jaw. It was a body blow. He did walk into that left. There's that left right there that he walked into in the body blow. We're in the 11th round. Time running out for Daniel Zaragoza. Oh, another right for Zaragoza, the champion. A sharp right. That one hurt. Will he get up? Fight's over. Zaragoza's been knocked out. He's been dethroned. Here it is. Another right to the body. That's what he thought of with the body hits. Valdez loading up shots. The left hook powerful again. Body shot powerful. And he has to get down. That caught him on the liver. Three, that last body four, shot. And Rueda has to get down for the six, first time. He, he should seven, be able to get up. Eight. It's up at eight. And he does Rueda. make it back up. But Rueda. Rueda. Valdez. Now let's see if he can in. If he catches him on that liver again, he'll go right down again. That time a left hook upstairs and back downstairs. But I'll tell you right now, Ruiz is taking a beating. Look at these right hands, left hook, right hand. The liver shot, and down he goes again, right on top of him. This fight's all over. Oscar Valdez Jr. has knocked out Matias Ruiz. People didn't know about Oscar Valdez on the worldwide stage. They do now. Overhand right. I mean, you want to talk accuracy? <laughs> Look at these punches. Wow. The body shot is beautiful. The only one that missed was that last punch because he was already going down. He was halfway down and he swung over the head. Oh, that nice left to the body. I saw that so much in his sparring. You know, talking to his corner, they said if he stops him, it's going to be with the left hook to the body. And that's the Roman pushed backwards. Sometimes the hardest thing to do. And a big left now for Shell. Sets in trouble, pouring it on. Roman is staggered here. His heart telling him to go forward, but his brain should be telling him to go backwards. He's badly hurt right now. It's another good body shot. He knows exactly where he's going to. He's trying to land that liver punch right now, landing combination. Last shot for Bruchette, that left. They're going to call that a slip. But it was aided in large part with that left hook from Bruchette. That his corner. That body shot took so much out of him. And down he goes. Mickey Roman on wobbly legs. Burchell trying to finish him off here in round nine, and down he goes. For the third time. He's not staying down. He won't stay down. Yeah, you know, your, your, your pride can recover, your brain tissue cannot. That's right. I agree with you. 73 fights, Mark. It's a lot of wear and tear on Mickey Roman. And he has no chance right now of winning this fight. He's taking punishment. Rochelle, pull it out, stop we're it. Done. About time. Trying to create distance from Rochelle, and there's the finish. All he's doing is letting his hands go. He knew he had a hurt, hurt prey. Navarrete right now, he's going for it. He smells blood, he feels his opponent weakening, and he's trying to get it over with right now. You see the right. body language, too, of Panchito Orta changing. He's got him up against the corner, and this is where my
Yeah, now Barrette, he's, he's okay with getting hit with those shots because those shots are not hard at all coming from Orta. Just so he can get in position to land his punches. His power punches. The right hook from Navarrete, and here comes another barrage as the blood begins to flow once again from the Good. nose of Panchito Orta, who takes a body shot. He's very valiant, but we saw what happened with another valiant fighter in Miguel Gonzalez, who wasn't throwing punches and was taking punishment. And here it comes to an end once again. In Navarrete continues to impress. Right there from Navarrete. Neither, neither of these fighters can think about the OG. They need to think about what's in front of them. We are one third into this prize fight. And um, I would say it's time for Canelo Alvarez to wake up. He needs to be a, a, a little bit more active. Well, the good thing about boxing, that can all change with one punch. That's true. Like, left foot. Amir Khan with a, a different ring mentality, higher ring IQ. Tricky style. Oh! Canelo drops Amir Khan. A big shot landed by the Mexican fighter. And it is over. Bruce dropped Amir Khan and knocked him out. Patino Cuevas, who began finally to take over in the fourth round with solid body blows, wearing Volbrecht down. And Cuevas can sense it as he goes right to the tag. And Volbrecht is in deep trouble. And if Volbrecht tries to slug with him, he'll pay the piper for it. It's those body blows in the fourth round that slowed Volbrecht down. Fifth round action, a wild left by Volbrecht, scored. But Volbrecht doesn't have the power, and that left put him down. The first knockdown in the fight in this, the fifth round. And it may be over. That suddenly, that's the power. It is over. That's the power of Fabino Cuevas. Dean, now let's look at the replay. Watch closely now. Volbrecht with that wild left, left himself open. You see that right down by his belly? Cuevas came over it with the left, and that was it. Because Cuevas is a one-punch knockout fighter. There it is. See how Volbrecht left himself open? And when you saw it from a different angle. Exactly one minute left, round three. Nobody's been down yet. Zamora hurt there and wobbled again. And rocked into the ropes. Zamora hurt again. Zamora is reeling backward now. Left hook almost dropped Zamora. He's in terrible shape right now. Right hand, a short right cross to the chin, drops Zamora. In fact, I believe Zarate was sort of holding with his left hand on Zamora's shoulder, and he popped him with a short right to the chin, and that, yes, indeed, was an official knockdown. Round number four, it is scheduled for 10, and Carlos Zarate hurries out. He is the taller of the two. He is screen left, now screen right. The red trunks, the white stripe down the side, and he feels he has Alfonso Zamora in trouble and wants to try to finish him. Knockdown number two of the fight. Zamora down here just 25 seconds into round number four. So Zamora down in the third round. Now down early in the fourth round. And Zarate just measuring him. He's in no hurry. What an accurate puncher Zarate is. And Zamora just nails Zarate the right to the chin. Zarate didn't even blink. Came right on coming. And 
The more is wise, you get off those ropes. He's going to be down again. He is down again through the ropes. And hanging over, there comes the towel thrown by his father. Here comes Zamora's father into the ring. He threw it in, the fight is over. A knockout for Zarate, but over screen right, here's referee Richard Steele. Oh, and here, there is the uh, father, the fellow screen right with a glass. Representing the United States, Munguia, who was on the Mexican national team, is too young to qualify for the Olympics. So he turned pro at 16 in Mexico. And he dropped over here. He landed a nice left hook to the body, then hook to the head. I, I just can't thud. I can't say it enough. He just huge. Look how big he is. And he drops him again. You see the replay. This is the first knockdown. Left hook. He threw the right hand. Saddam brought his hands down to block that right hand to the body. And left hook right on the chin. Look at the different angles. Snap the neck around. Look at the shoulders and back of Jaime. The guy's... Double up the jab is Ali in the red, white, and blue. Munguia with that right hand caught. Drops him with the left hook, and it is over. A new world champion at 154 pounds lives in the What he lost is the fact of how tough he was. Saddam stuck in there. Just look at the size of these two guys. One punch, a solid shot on the chin, but one punch drops him like that. Good performance behind me. I'm not going to take that away from him. He stepped in. He forced Saddam to drop that right hand just slightly. He let the left. to take one step back. We're dealing with a wrecking ball that just knows, has one gear. Only knows one way to go, and that's forward. Zapata's team said that they saw similarities in that matchup as well. Another left hand. Even when Arboleda lands a left uppercut, which he did right there, it only gets Zapata and more angry. And down goes Arboleda, the left hand. Nearly half the round for Zapata to try and score an early knockout. Good body shot again by Zapata. Arboleda just running out of room. I don't see, I don't see Arboleda lasting much longer. Zapata going right back down there. Arboleda trying to fire back, but Zapata is just relentless. And Arboleda flat on his back. He knew that he was off balance and he had no control of his body right there. 
So he did the right thing, took, took, took the gate count, but then again, here goes Morales again. Fana is much too stationary. Left hand. The Reds having success with almost everything here in round one, especially the right hand lead. Combination there, and that again rocked Fana. Now he's starting to put his jabs together, yeah. Fana. And a right hand, and he's gone. That's it. Fight is over. Herrera coming forward, left hook to the body, and then a right hand follow up, and there's a magnificent right hand. His head nearly flew off. I didn't, I didn't see that as a low blow either. It's no, you'll see it. It's going to be on the, it's, it's a little bit below the uh, the belt line, but it's not even the one that knocked him out or set him up for the knockout. No, that's right. It doesn't matter. He backs off. You see that right hand really was devastating, and then the follow up right just put him away. Respond well to the cut again, kind of dire way here against Marquez. We told you how Marquez adjusts and yep, comes Marquez. around. Diaz got caught with a left hook and he looks stunned. 25 seconds out yeah. away. Diaz, Diaz with a left hook to back him off. It and if he stops it, it'll be the first thing he's done in the fight. In fact, it's Diaz who's had more experience fighting at this pace. And he's 10 years younger. And he's fighting in his hometown. And he's supposedly the stronger man. And he's hurt. Yeah. A huge uppercut. Down goes Diaz. Can he make it out of the ring? Five. No, 35 seconds to go. Okay. Pick, but I don't think that's what he's going to do. And look at Marquez go to the body. Look at him go to the body and try to set up the finish. And what a right hand. And that will be that. What you just saw was a really good young fighter knocked out by a... And you're pound for pound number one. Maybe. Marquez. Just my No, be. that's what you said. And you have good grounds to say that. Right hand, but what amazed me was the precision and the accuracy of the punches from Marquez. He didn't miss too many punches. Produced that first knockdown. The second knockdown is really almost a formality on a brilliant right. Punches. He threw punches over the top and then he threw punches up underneath. The sheer lightweight champion of the world, Juan Manuel Dinamita. corta muy muy simple es tirar golpes sí. no no tienen una ¡Oh, y vale, le golpe ahí del gallo estamos ya en el séptimo round y de nuevo de nuevo. todo bueno esto tres días lo que resta de esta Valdez just no power there at all there's a big shot the concept of two and three and four, that was Five, the right hand. I don't know if he's six, gonna be able to get up with that. It's seven, six and seven. Eight. He's not getting up. Now, eight, nine, and ten. This thing is all over. So here it is, right hand. Digging body shot, and then the right hand chopped him right down. So he hurt him to the liver, which is probably why he couldn't get up. Right there. That's what hurt him. The liver shot really did more damage than the right hand. That's the one that punished him. See him right there? Yes. The first round, the fight was missing. Yes. 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 もう、ちょっと、ちょっとですね。さあ、ちょっと悪いのはですね。相手右に行きますね。はい。いわゆる後ろに避けるから悪いんですよ。逆にですね。黒方にパンチ、黒方に頭突っ込んでいかなきゃ
Kovalev's not even committing to the... Jarenes, Kovalev's hurt! Kovalev's down! Kovalev's out! It's over! That fast! There's fifth gear! Canelo is the light heavyweight champion of the world! Respectful thing, as he always is. He came right over to see Kovalev, and wow! That is a game plan expertly followed. Suddenly, Canelo throws it into another gear, and that quickly, Kovalev is out and almost out of the ring. This may be the first time. Oh, right hand there from McGee. Caught him again and sent him down in round two. You feel like he settled down? Oh, and he's dead. Speaking of settled down, he gets knocked down for the second time. For John Ryder, can Munguia close the show? Can he do something that Canelo Alvarez couldn't do? Can he stop John Ryder, who goes down again? Sims is up on the ring apron with the towel, looking to throw it in right now. Munguia loading up, and the referee can't see him. And they refuse to throw the towel in, but they want to stop the fight. Oh, big right. The referee says the bell! They're stopping it! That's a by Marquez. That little left uppercut is a punch that he should not avoid. And the big straight right. <laughs> That's not too bad either. And a right uppercut, and that goes in there for the second time of the fight. That's by Marquez. Look at Marquez, though. He never loses his composure in the fight, ever or gets out of his rhythm. Even when he drops a guy, he's not in a rush. He may drop him again. He pushes him back with a straight right, and he survives the round. Jandang. The combination punching of uh, Juan Manuel Marquez, impressive in, for most of this fight. And there he throws an uppercut from farther back than you would like to throw it, yet it lands perfectly, and then follows with an overhand right. And really, that was all started with the jab. The scoring is uh, lopsided. I have it lopsided as well. Four point win actually right now for Marquez. You know, Marquez lost to Chris John uh, in the Far East in the fight. He could easily have been given the decision. He'd like him again, and this could get him closer to it. A flurry by Marquez. He's trying to end it here, and he does. Stop the fight. Marquez against a very game and pretty skilled opponent. We see the work downstairs and upstairs by him. And the hand speed very impressive. He says he feels like a 20-year-old. He looked like a 20-year-old in there because not only did he show power, he showed hand speed and combinations and all the rest of it. And when a fighter engages him, as Jean Dang did, He's very, very effective. Had trouble with Chris John. Están tirando con todo. Isaac Cruz va mandando volados tremendos, al igual que Iván, que está metiendo una combinación arriba y abajo interesante, pero aprende con una derecha tremenda. Dinamita pura en ambos peleadores. Si vemos los porcentajes que tienen, esta pelea, se los podemos asegurar, no va a llegar a la, al final de los rounds que está especificada. Huele a knockout porque ahí están metiéndose nuevamente en el terreno corto. Tirando arriba y abajo Isaac, tratando de mantenerse mientras Iván lo quiere, lanzando volados. Todo tipo de golpes lo lleva hasta uh -huh. la esquina, lo conecta con la derecha, en la barbilla, en el botón uh -huh. prácticamente, a la uh -huh. izquierda y lo manda a la lona. Una pelea de toma y daca. 10 puntos a 7 por las dos caídas que tuvo Iván Basurto a lo largo del primer round. Muy duros los golpes de Isaac Cruz, eh, recordando que es de la dinastía de los... Eh, deportes pero sobre todo en el box y si no te regulas en tu desgaste físico lo puedes pagar y caro te vacías 18 segundos para que termine este tercer round y ahí los tenemos todavía está Isaac tirando todo tipo de golpes pero no puede aprender a Iván ahora oh. lo baja con una derecha le tira todavía Tremendous right hand by Navaretti and Lamont is back up tall. But now a left hand. Good round for the champion Navaretti. But now Lamont is four hit. Navaretti is resting on the ropes over there. Man, man, he's done. He hurts. Navaretti goes down. Navaretti goes down. He might not get up. Oh, Brazil and Lamont have won the championship with a stunning combination. Great result.
his horses here. Reaching back for that something extra. All the conditioning paid off at age 29. And those two punches now look to us like maybe Navarrete, while he was hurt, was not anywhere near the difficulty that it turned out he was. Because That's right. effectively out on his feet. He was stunned by that early right hook, Tim. After that, it was just instinct, the way he was putting up his hands. I agree a little bit in terms of he's trying to be too cute in there as opposed to being who we've seen him be. Oh, I didn't like that reaction right there. Body language from Chanino got hit right on the nose, right on the bridge of the nose, and you saw how he reacted. He did not like that at all. <laughs> oh, now he goes down. <laughs> that was a light shot, but I'm not in his body, to be honest with you. Probably landed in the right spot, but I think it might have been that. Kind of hesitated, Bill. Ooh, that was a nice setup. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That was a cold setup right there. Bearing the blunt of Lopez's work. That counter right now, it's a right hand that drops Chidino. Like you said, precise. When you land in the right place at the right time. Mm, like that, that one two that puts him down again. Does damage, baby. Precision. He's digging to the body right there, strafing left hooks down to the belt line. But I can tell you this. Oh. Lopez doesn't doesn't fear anything coming from Chinino. Nothing at all. He, he doesn't respect him at all. He's walking forward. Every now and then he'll drop his hands. But right now he's just doing whatever he wants. Shot. And that's got to be it. That's a bad boy, man. I'm not going to lie, man. Lopez is a bad boy. He's tricky. And then you can have a Twitter beef with Stephen A. later if you like. He'll be available all night. Uh, oh, oh down he goes! Pick him up by Oscar Valdez. Oh. Oh, that, there it is right there, that left hook that I was talking about. He gets used to that jab, that, that straight stick hard jab that he throws, and then he comes around with a left hook, and you don't expect it, but you're expecting the jab. And his legacy, yeah. and having that O, I think, means the world to him. Yeah. Oh. Straight ahead is Valdez, and now Osala in a world of trouble. Oh. He's trapped on the ropes, and now he's not Now, the second attacker jumps in. Oscar Valdez earns it easy. He's coming over here with his jab with the right hand. When he does that, Ray, he leaves himself wide open. I don't think he should be reaching with that right hand. He's quick. So much behind the kill. Another big right hand by the challenger, Mayweather. And what set that up? Mayweather slipped to his right. You know, he just was hurt. Yes, he is. Mayweather took two consecutive right hands on the champion, Chavez, just after he landed a big one of his own. Mayweather has to move now. He's still on the quiz streak. ruled a knockdown, but let's watch what happened again. Looks like he's already tagged him once, though. Well, he was off balance, that man. He, he jumped him with the right hand. He was in the air, as a matter of fact. But the power of his punch, how much like punch ability is incredible. Don't sit there waiting for Laura to punch. Oh, big right hand from Losha, right hand, and now Laura starts to open up. He senses this could be a significant attack as the blood is spread across the face of Lee Wood here. Against Warrington, there was moments in there where he looks really dangerous. He looked really established. It was a dangerous fight. Sitting back there, 
patiently waiting to get hit. Good work from Lee Wood, though. Well timed, but... Oh! oh! Barely 10 seconds to go, and the towel comes in from Ben Davison to the protest of Lee Wood. Bouchard will sit, was happy to sit there and take a shot. What a left hook, teach perfect. Yeah, Laura sent his up from that left leg. You could see him bend the body there, look. Crisp, accurate, full power. Lee's left hook wasn't timed quite right. And you need to go ahead and elevate those shots. Good right hand by Chavez. Beautiful job of pivoting and then landing that shot. He needs to make the fight in the center of the ring. Oh, got him that hurt Setting up everything up that left hook. Oh, that was a nice right hook there that caught Andy Lee. A little bit off balance, but he hurt, he got hurt. Back, stop. And another oh, his hands. Oh, a good round for Lee, but I don't think it's enough for him to win it. Oh, it's not. Oh. When he's not giving Andy Lee any room to punch, and as the rounds go, you see how much he's on top of. Look at him. Beautiful mixture of the body. This young man, the train, and this is the way he did it. que están cubriendo estas peleas, Bas. Amigos, tenemos para este último round. Pelea pactada 15 entre Rubén Olivares de México y Enchuque Utagawa del Japón. Según las anotaciones extraoficiales que llevan algunos de los periodistas acá, la Asociación 3 lleva a Olivares adelante 5 a 1. Dan Hafner de Los Ángeles Times, 4 a 1 a favor de Rubén Olivares. Esa fue la primera caída, la segunda caída, perdón. Aquí vamos a ver el knockout. Creemos que esta fue la posición del knockout. Efectivamente falló Olivares ahí. Entró con la derecha, también el japonés remató con la derecha. Pero fue más efectiva la derecha de Ondial. Rubén, Mr. Knockout de Olivares. Ahí lo vemos. Lo levantan el hombro. El chamaco de la colonia Bondoco respondió a las mil maravillas. Respondió y está probando. Thank you, thank you everybody. Thank you so much. Gracias a todos. ¡Viva México, cabrones!